Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School YouTube channel. Myself Ammu and I am going to show you today how to do polygel extensions using dual form. So this is going to be a detailed step by step video demonstration on how to use a dual form. So if you are uh, joining our channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any of our new videos. So without any further ado, let's begin. The speciality of today's video is that I am doing my uh, student's nails so she just completed her co classes with us uh, recently and then I thought let's do a video on how to do polygel extension so uh, she did an acrylic class so she uh, does not know how to do the polygel extension so basically it was like a video recording plus a knowledge sharing sessions uh, session with my student and uh, now let's get into the video as you can see she has beautiful natural nails however she uh, cannot really keep long nails because she works in the salon so she need to have like shorter nails um, but still we went ahead and built a long nail um, so as a first step as you know we start with a dry manicure doesn't matter what extension we are doing but every time we have to start with a dry manicure to make sure that our extensions can last longer so here first I'm using an orange wood stick and I'm pushing back uh, the cuticle area and exposing her nail plate so that I can do a neat and clean dry manicure after pushing back the cuticles, I switched to my e-file and I am using a red abrasive mark uh, uh, diamond bit here. So this particular bit is called flame bit as you can see this uh, shape of the uh, bit it's it's like a flame so that's why it's called flame bit and uh, this is one of the go-to bits for uh, dry manicure and red abrasive mark because I do not have like too much dead skin if you have like really tough uh, keratinized skin type then maybe you want to go for a blue or a green uh, abrasive mark uh, diamond bits but here we don't want like too harsh of a bit so I'm using a red abrasive mark bit and when I'm starting when I'm doing the left side of the nails I'm using uh, forward mode and when I'm doing the right side so right now I'm using the reverse mode to go from left to right so you have to always know which mode to use when you're using an electric file okay so now I am slightly push packing the cuticle removing all the dead skin but make sure that you are not over filing the cuticle area if you do then you will end up with that uh, nail damage called ring of fire which means basically you will have like a deep cut when the nails grows out you will see like a dent in the cuticle area so we don't want that to happen so be very careful when you're using an electric file so this is my favorite part I love doing dry manicure for some reason uh, that you know all the dead skin and everything is going away and you get like a really clean nail plate which is like kind of a satisfying uh, you know work so I'm going on and continuing with all other fingers and I'm just going to leave it as it is so that you can see the whole process and then I'll come back on the next step Now I'm done with the dry manicure, I mean uh, I'm done with the flame bit so I'm switching to a sand band. This is a 180 grit sand band, this is what I'm going to use to file off the surface shine from the nails. Uh, so if your client has like a really very thin or weak nails then make sure you are using a 220 or 240 grit uh, sand band do not use harder ones on the natural nail plate so here our client has a really uh, you know thick nail plate so i can use a 180 grit here so i'm using it at a speed of 4000 rpm only i'm going really gentle i'm not putting any pressure very gently just buff off that shine from the nail plate and if you're not comfortable using a sand band you can always use a hand file uh, with the grit of for either 180 or 220 or 240 depending how you know fragile the client's nails are so accordingly you can choose the grit so once this is done I'm going to use a hand file just to make sure the client's nail has like a really nice and round shape 
okay so whenever we do extension we don't keep the natural nail length as it is because we want a uh, shorter nail so that we can fit the foam nicely uh, or we fit the tip nicely but if your client insists on having longer nails as is then obviously you can leave them but uh, if you want uh, like a clean uh, manicure then always just trim down the natural nail length like this After uh, filing and shaping the natural nails, I am using a lint-free wipe and alcohol to clean the nail plate. When I do this, I clean the nail plate as well as the underneath side of the nail so that there is no dust or oil, moisture, dirt, nothing is left before I put on the product. So that's what I'm doing, cleaning the nail plate. So now that the nail plate is absolutely clean, we are going to start with the uh, dehydrator application. Dehydrator is basically to remove any uh, remaining oil moisture from the nail plate and then we will start applying the primer and then we can start doing the product application. So as you know, uh, this video is about polygels. So for the polygel uh, extension, I will be using dual forms. So I am conducting a workshop on how to do this uh, extension from the very beginning to the uh, last step which is the gel manicure. So if you are interested in learning more about extensions, please feel free to join my workshop. This is going to happen on 31st August uh, 2023 uh, starting from 3 p.m. It's going to be like a three hour long uh, session and you will be given a certificate also and you will have the recording so that you can go back and play uh, whenever you want. Um, so that is what is going to, you are going to get and it's just for 800 rupees. So here I have the dual form which I have already measured. There are different types of dual forms and all different types will be shown in the workshop. So if like I said, if you're interested, please feel free to register you can find all the details in my instagram page which is at the rate anna nail school i'll leave the links in the description box so you can dm and register now that we have all the right sizes uh, selected i'm going to start with a very thin layer of base coat so i'm using a gel base coat uh, i'm applying a really thin layer because we don't want like a super thick base application and uh, another thing with gels is always start with thin layers if you put so much uh, it's going to cause lifting bubbles shrinking so many problems uh, so always start with thin layers so i applied a uh, thin layer of base on all the four fingers and then i'm going to send it for cure for 30 seconds meanwhile the nails are curing i'm going to show you the products i'm using so for polygel i'll be using polyphus polygel from uh, arena nail.com so she's a russian or a ukraine i don't know where exactly she's from but her polygel collection is like out of the world they are so pretty and i'm using model one slip solution if you don't have slip solution you can also use alcohol and then i'll be using a spatula and a acrylic kolinsky brush number 10 to spread that polygel into the dual form so this is the spatula i'm using so i always dip the spatula in the uh, slip solution uh, before i pick up the bead so that is basically to make it easy to release that bead into the dual form so once you add the polygel into the dual form, you can turn it and use your brush to spread it the way you want. And when you are doing this, uh, the one thing that you have to be careful about is always keep the back side or the cuticle area of your uh, dual form really thin. We don't want like too thickness. Uh, in, even if it becomes way too thin, we can again build it up. But if we flood the cuticle and cure it, then it's very difficult to file off and you know get it out of the skin. So rather keep the cuticle area really thin and then keep the apex height so we need always product at the apex area so don't uh, just wipe off all the products to the free edge uh, when you are like spreading it and make sure you have like a really good thick application around the apex area your cuticle is thin and then your free edge uh, you need to have like a basic thickness uh, for the free edge so once you spread the product and once you're happy you can always turn and see make sure you're not missing any corners and then you are going to attach this to the client's nails so when you are attaching to the client's nails make sure your application is straight you're keeping it straight and just keep it a little far from your uh, cuticle area and then gently slide it and make sure it is connecting uh, close to your cuticle area and i'm using a small desk lamp to cure that bottom area the cuticle area and uh, i'm going to cure it for like 10 15 seconds and then i'm going to 
turn the finger use the brush and spread that extra product underneath the nails uh, to make sure that there is no bulky bottom side around the hypernychium area once this is done for all the fingers you can send the nails for like a full cure under the bigger lamp the 48 watt lamp and then you can remove the dual forms and then start filing and shaping so uh, now the nails are completely dried and now i'm going to pop off the dual form so when you're popping off just be really uh, uh, very gentle so that you're not putting all the pressure to the nail plate so as you can see i'm using my thumb over the nail plate when i'm twisting the dual form so this way we don't hurt the client's nails and we can also easily remove the dual form so as you can see uh, this is how the nails are so the best part about uh, using a dual form or polygel is that we don't have to like do too much filing if everything is in place otherwise obviously we have to do a little bit of filing but the one thing we have to make sure is there are no product over the skin so that is one thing we have to be very very careful about and you can check if you want any patch up work to be done you can do at this stage and then you can start filing and shaping I'm using an e-file to cut down a little bit of uh, length and uh, then I'll be doing like a quick filing and shaping and then I'm going to do a ombre nails so that is another part of this uh, video I'm going to show you how to do gel ombre Now we are done with filing, shaping and buffing of the extensions. Our next step is to apply uh, gel manicure and for that I will be as I mentioned earlier I will be doing a ombre nail gel ombre. So for that what I did is I applied a thin layer of base coat and then I am pouring a clear acrylic over it. Remember I did not cure the base coat I just applied the base coat and then on top of it I am pouring the acrylic powder and then I am going to cure it for 30 seconds. So why we do this is because uh, this will help the gel to stick to the nail plate and it is not like too runny so that we can control the colors and you know for a better blending uh, this technique is really great so if you don't know then you can uh, going forward you can try this method and for the uh, ombre I'm going to use a dark purple and a dark pink color uh, one is from uh, canny and one is from born pretty this these are the colors that I'm going to use First uh, I'm going to start with a dark purple color and I'm starting from the cuticle gently applying the uh, color so that I don't uh, touch the skin so just be very careful. The first coat is always like carefully applied and then once I have this color towards almost towards the center I'm going to start with my second color. The second color I always start from the free edge and then towards the middle of the nails and once I have the colors close to each other I will be using a ombre brush to blend the colors. So when I start with the blending I just use the tip of the brush and gently try to blend the colors and then once I have the colors blended a little bit then I will use the whole brush to gently pat down and make it really you know blend together so there is no like hard borderline between two colors. I will be repeating this step for like two times so by the time I'll get uh, when I do two times I am going to get a, a really opaque finish if you don't have like a really opaque finish in two coats then you can maybe go for one more uh, layer of like blending the colors and then you get the really opaque effect. Now between the layers make sure you are curing the gel uh, without curing we can't really do double layer triple layer so all e after each layer please make sure that you are curing the uh, gel polishes. Now to add a little bit of extra designs I am using a silver uh, foil I am going to just gently pat it down and then uh, other than that I am also going to use a sticker uh, with some statement lines so I am going to use a black color sticker so I don't want the uh, statement to be like really popping out but I want the statement there but subtle kind of so that's why I'm using a black one if you want really brighter one then you can use a white color uh, sticker also so I'm just uh, 
taking a sticker and I am applying it uh, and then I will be top coating it and curing it. So here I am applying a top coat to seal my design and the top coat it, cure it for 60 seconds and voila we are done. So this is the design. So here is the final look after, after uh, applying the cuticle oil and all. This is the final finish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, uh, comment, all those good things. I'll see you soon on my next video. Until then, stay safe, stay happy. Don't forget to subscribe.